so we have a new product to review. It is the Warhead Industries Brushless Motor. Uh, this is the balanced version. Uh, there are a couple other reviews out there floating around on YouTube. Um, so let's just get started. So that's the motor. Um, it's got a nice pinion on it. It is a D-type, D-type pinion. Um, doesn't really, like it has a little bit of strength behind it, so good magnets. Um, but brushless motors don't usually have a super amount of like resistance when you're twisting the pinion. Um, apparently it is compatible with some MOSFETs, uh, like Gate Titan and BTC Spectres. We will be putting that to the test. Uh, the first test we are going to be doing is we are going to be taking an Arturus AR-15 uh, polymer version. So uh, this guy right here. Uh, we're going to be shooting at stock with a 11.1 LiPo battery, uh, high discharge, uh, 30 to 60 Cs, 1450 mAh. And then we will be throwing in the new Warhead motor. And we'll also be throwing in, to compare, an SHS High Torque, a Tinley 35K motor, and then just to test it out as well, we have an option one brushless motor to test out as well. So it will give you a nice range and uh, we'll try to do some things and see if we can break it and see how well it lasts. So that is the Warhead brushless motor. Uh, first test, stock gun, stock motor on a 7.4 LiPo. Auto. Next, eleven one stock motor, stock gun. Seven four lipo, SHS high torque, stock internals. SHS high torque stock gun on eleven one lipo. Then for lipo Tinley thirty five K motor. Them for LiPo Tinley 35K motor. Seven point four LiPo using the option one brushless motor. Eleven point one lipo battery using the option one brushless motor. <laughs> 